when, when you are praying in, in other tongues you are plugging yourself to the power source and you are generating energy on the inside so as you are going in the spirit kayato zini mini kayendon zivele taya gadabaha zondon benden genden don zembele kayinana noze laboram don zilifrene kayanana ha jena you may have entered your prayer room weak in the spirit but you emerge strengthened in your inner man hello guys good day good day yeah welcome to another episode in our ongoing series the baptism of the holy spirit you know it's been an awesome time this is episode six and you know thank you for being there if you're a returning subscriber thank you for taking on this journey with us god bless you if this is your first time here i want you to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so that you'll be uh, notified whenever we go life with any video you know this is a channel that seeks to bring you into um encounters with the spirit of god you know it's also a channel that brings you um lifestyle discussions on relationship marriage parenting and you know every other thing that you know will help your life make progress so in this episode you know we'll be looking at the hindrances to the baptism of the holy spirit <laughs> but before we go into that i just want us to pray in the spirit for um a few moments you know if you are baptized with the holy spirit do well to just open up your mouth and begin to pray in other tongues come to Jesus who is the mediator of the new covenant haha resule tenema guntele haindo fezile frahana mama maha we have come to God who is the judge of all we have come upon man Zion a lot of transactions will take place today shanon zeleta menanton zele kreden shanayan don zele frede barani veletaya leda mama man de shine mene kabalandia the lord will be exalted aha in amon zele tengrudin shanamana na in zele Oh Jesus, take over, Spirit of God, take over, take over in the name of Jesus. We have prayed. Amen and amen. Thank you once again. Um, you, uh, I would love you to give this video a thumbs up if it's something that you love. You know, give the video a thumbs up. Or, or, thumbs up also make your comment in the comment section you know this will help to shoot up the algorithm of the video so that it becomes available to other um people um you know that would also benefit from this um episode so god bless you so like i said today we'll be looking at the hindrances um the last hindrance that i'll be talking about is to me is the greatest of all hindrances that i've you know experienced you know not personally in my interaction with people you know this this hindrance has been what has kept the most people out of the experience of the baptism of the holy spirit so i want you to sit tight you know and you know um god would help us so by the grace of god i will be quick as possible so the first hindrance is that god is the one that decides when i'll be baptized with the holy spirit that is one hindrance that you know keep people away from this experience in the book of acts chapter 2 verse from verse 1 to 4 you know as <laughs> if you've been following this series you you may have not seen that you know we mentioned that place a lot you know is where the baptism first occurred you know in the new testament so um it, it, it does like the genesis so anything we are looking for you know most times we go back to that experience so in Acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 4 we see that the Holy Ghost was actually poured out upon the earth in that experience he says that they were gathered in the upper room do you understand in one accord and then they came the sound like the uh, the rushing mighty wind and then everybody there was baptized with the Holy Spirit before then Jesus told them to tarry in Jerusalem as they wait for the promise of the Father now when the Holy Ghost came in Acts chapter 2 he came he has not left the earth do you understand so it, it is more like the launching of the baptism the baptism of the holy spirit so right from that point there is no need to wait 
any longer any person that believes will immediately come into that experience now let me match it side by side with salvation will you meet somebody a sinner today and tell the person oh jesus loves you he died for you on the cross of calvary you know um but i'm not sure that god wants to save you now you know maybe god wants to save you in in two years time is that what you tell the person no i believe you tell the person that you know this is available if only you will believe in jesus you'll be saved now so it means that god as it were does not have a part to play in the timing that you get saved in the same way after the 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 um the outpouring of the holy ghost in acts chapter 2 god does not have a say in the timing do you understand so i've met people that, that are like oh i've tried and tried maybe it's not god's will for me to be baptized now <laughs> no <laughs> no don't allow the devil to get you to that corner it's a lie the god has poured out his spirit so he's actually <laughs> instead of us waiting on of waiting for god rather he is he's the one waiting for us so once we believe we come into that experience once you believe in jesus you come into the experience of salvation why because jesus has died on the cross once and for all so in the same way once you believe and you pray for the baptism of the holy spirit you come into that experience why because he has been poured out once and for all upon the surface of the earth so that is one hindrance that prevents people from you know being baptized because of that belief ah maybe it's not my time maybe he, uh god wants me to baptize in the future and all of that so that is a wrong um concept number two hindrance is that the holy spirit is the one that should speak in tongues now when people say this what they mean actually is that when i'm prayed for you know um maybe i should just feel a sensation the holy ghost should just you know move maybe we should get darkened and then i will not know what i'm doing maybe i'll fall on the floor and then the holy ghost would you know push my mouth open and then i go without any control of myself <laughs> do you understand so when they say this, this is exactly what they mean um but um even though this happens to some persons it is not the general rule do you understand you know there are some persons that once hands or one hands are laid on them you know they just are cut up and you know you know it's as though it, it is as though it is not that the holy ghost is speaking in tongues for them it is as though it's the holy ghost because you know they are just caught up and then you know they experience that um that um dimension of the holy ghost but as a general rule in the book of acts chapter 2 verse 4 the scripture says that they were all filled with the holy ghost and began to speak in other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance so who were filled the disciples who began to speak the disciples who gave the utterance the holy ghost so it means that it is the holy ghost that gives utterance it is not the holy ghost that opens your mouth for you to speak no you are the one to open your mouth and speak so since you are the one to open your mouth and speak it means that you can shut up the holy ghost you can shut off the utterance you can receive the utterance and not open your mouth to speak so for some persons they have received the holy ghost they have received utterance but they are waiting for the holy ghost to um forcefully open their mouth and you know let tongues start rolling out if you are in this category i want you to know that it is not the holy ghost that speaks in tongues you are the one it's just like um before you 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 you, you speak the world you may have thought about it right but you can choose not to say it out so i may think about obi is a boy but it's my choice to say it out do you understand so in the same way you can receive utterance on your inside and choose not to say it out do you understand so this is a one of the hindrances that you know leads to people not experiencing the dimension of tongues as they should because they are waiting for the holy spirit to you know to speak or to open their mouth and speak but if you have received a trance you know it's left for you to open your mouth and begin to speak hindrance number three what i'm speaking is not genuine <laughs> when people say this thing what they mean is that they don't trust 
what they are speaking they they believe that you know maybe because it's not sounding like the people <laughs> like the ones that they've heard so they are like maybe what i'm speaking is not the real tongues now to answer this question i will draw you back to the source the source of a of a thing determines the how genuine that thing is so uh, a quick question to you who did you pray to for the baptism of the holy spirit is it god or is it the devil because if he's god he cannot give you something that is not him if he's god you pray to he cannot give you something outside his nature now in the book of luke chapter 11 verse 11 to 13 what father among you if his son asks for a fish will give him a snake instead of a fish or if he asks for an egg will give him a scorpion if you then being evil that is sinful by nature know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your heavenly father give the holy spirit to those who ask and continue to ask him so this place is saying that when a son you know petitions his earthly dad for bread the earthly dad will not give him a stone and jesus was saying even though you know humans have the evil nature that of course before salvation but they are still able to give good gifts to their children say how much more god he said when you ask of the holy ghost he will not give you anything less of what you have asked for so if you prayed for to to god for the baptism of the holy spirit you can be rest assured that what you have is the real thing is the real deal so what you have to do is to keep on engaging with confidence so even if your your tongues is not sounding like the one of your pastor or like the one of that um mature believer that you know it is your tongues tongues is not by the way it sounds even though as you speak in tongues you know it begins to begin to make progress in the spirit and sometimes your 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 tongues begin to change begin to you know sound you know uh, uh, you begin to add syllables to your to your tongues you understand but the one you are speaking is not less of a tongue than the one you are hearing others speak do you understand so if you are in this category and is is restricting you from giving full expression to the holy because some persons you know they get baptized with, with the holy spirit they speak in tongues but they now enter that um that um that deception that this is not the real thing and they stop and they never do that again if you are there what you have is the real thing do you understand keep on engaging keep on engaging keep on engaging keep on engaging then the final hindrance which is the greatest i've seen so far is if it is in my mind or thoughts then it is not from the holy ghost so what these people mean is that you know um when they get utterance and it's as though they are the ones thinking the thoughts it's as though it's in their mind they are like no i'm the one thinking this thought is not the holy ghost so if it's in my mind it means that i'm the one thinking thinking it not the holy ghost do you understand but actually <laughs> actually let me give you a secret actually the holy ghost puts the utterance in our mind do you understand now the system of the human system not biological system spiritual system is spirit soul body so the experiences in the spirits are translated to the body through the gate of the soul do you understand so the mind is a part of the soul so your mind is not evil on its own the mind only takes on the nature of the prevailing force so if the if if the um the devil gives you a suggestion in your mind then that suggestion is is um demonic if god gives you a suggestion in your mind that suggestion is godly <laughs> do you understand so the mind takes on the form of the prevailing force so the mind is not evil on its own so it's not everything that you think about that is from you or from the devil the spirit of god also speaks to you through your thoughts so he influences he prevails on your soul because anything that you that we gain we gain um um that will become a reality in your body must 
pass through your souls and this is the, one of the challenges of, of believers you know there are some things in the spirit but we are not seeing them made manifest in the body because the gate of the soul has not been opened that's the reason we study scripture that's the reason we pray that's so that we can open up the gate of our souls to allow the things in the spirit to be transited or to transit into the body do you understand so even jesus had a mind <laughs> do you understand first corinthians chapter 2 verse 16 it says but ye have in the b part ye you you have the mind of christ it means that jesus had a mind and the scripture is telling us to have the mind of christ so the mind is not evil in philippians chapter 4 verse 8 he begins to list out some things you know whatsoever is good whatsoever is um godly of a good report and all of that you know has virtue blah 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 he says think on these things it means that your mind is not evil so the holy ghost uses your mind to you know bring utterance to you so when hands are laid on you or when or when you begin to pray as an individual or begin to worship and you begin to um you know receive some thoughts in your mind that is utterance i want you to know that you are not the one thinking those thoughts the holy ghost is prevailing upon your mind and then giving you utterance so what you have to do is to begin to repeat what you are hearing in your mind do you understand or what you are thinking in your thoughts do you understand you know it, 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 when people hear us say this kind of thing, they'll be like are you sure are you sure <laughs> yes i am sure i am sure the holy ghost who works with your mind he works with your mind he works with your mind so those um utterance will come to your mind and then you are able to express them <laughs> so if you are in this category i believe you've been liberated <laughs> do you understand it, it, to, <laughs> to me you know i've met a lot of persons and they are struggling with this thing so they've been baptized with the holy ghost <laughs> but they are still you know they've still not been able to yield to the experience of praying in other tongues because they are thinking if it's in my mind then it's my thought not the holy spirit do you understand so i want you to just release yourself right now the holy ghost is coming upon you holy ghost come upon this one and shana mantenzile kaida bane feleta and as he comes he will begin to give you utterance in your mind it will be as though there are thoughts in your mind and you know no more shot on but they are the thoughts uh, 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 engineered by the holy ghost ha resuse ke penon zine kandele kwani mahana what you will do is to open up your mouth and begin to repeat those words resonome enons ente kande menon jana mante le russe kaido fele tengwan de zinon toko pele kaya genon zizin tono mono kombritaya holy ghost come upon this one sir resonomante ne kaidon zite beleha now get the benjen den don zizin tono mo kombele taya in the name of jesus we have prayed amen and amen haha <laughs> so thank you for joining um in, in today's episode tomorrow we'll be wrapping up and we'll be um <laughs> going into the experience so get set tomorrow we'll be having an encounter with the holy ghost you know um if they, they, there's someone you know that is not yet baptized in with the holy spirit with the evidence of speaking in other tongues just you know refer the person to these videos and then by tomorrow we will be engaging the holy ghost thank you very much um as i've mentioned before if you love this video do well to give us a thumbs up um make a comment in the comment section what have you learned what has been your experience all through this series just you know say something let us know that you are out there and that you are following this series and also if you've not subscribed do it to subscribe and click the notification bell what that does is that it notifies you whenever you know we go live with a video god bless you i remain <laughs> or we remain the obunaya advocates thank you for being here god bless you and do have a lovely night rest Bye.